All right, everyone, we're out here in the field. We got iNav 7.0 loaded on the Dolphin. So what we're gonna check to see how this software reacts is we're gonna check angle mode, horizon, acro, navigation cruise, loiter, return to home, waypoint missions, if I got them loaded up right, and see how the plane flies. Now, if I fly this in manual mode, that's not gonna tell us nothing about iNav 7, and that's because it's bypassing the flight controller. Also, auto launch too as well. Um, we will also do an auto tune while we have it up, just in case any of these settings have been erased from the previous version. So I'm gonna let this thing um, acquire satellite and set it down. Another thing, the Dolphin, uh, I've already had this, did you hear those two beeps? That's letting me know it's acquired satellites. That is freaking pretty cool, I tell ya. It also beeps when you switch modes. That's pretty awesome. So I know just by listening that it is ready to go. So without further ado, see why it's beeping? I have a waypoint. So what has happened here is my first waypoint is too far away from me. Um, that is my safe waypoint distance, which is set to like 1,640 feet. I'm like 10,000 feet away from it because it's in a different location. So I have load waypoints on boot enabled, and this is typically why you don't do this. Um, so what's happening is iNav wants to load this thing right away, and it knows, hey, you're too far away to even do this mission, so you need to disable it. So I had to go in through the uh, OSD menu, disable it, and now it's turned off. All is good to go. So this is just a Jeff Air. Loaded up on this right now. So what I need to do is I need to disable the waypoint because the waypoint's too far away. So let me do that real quick with my stick commands. Save and reboot. Ha <laughs> there we go. And now it's ready. Fantastic. Everything's ready. Oh, cross your fingers, everybody. We're gonna make sure auto launch works. That's all we need. So we're gonna go ahead and arm. We're gonna go ahead and arm. Put it in um, nav loiter and launch. Absolute butter. Absolute butter. Okay. I'm going to take it out of loiter. I'm in angle mode. Let's see how angle acts. Oh, look at that. Oh, let's see if I get this out of the wind a little bit. There we go. Oh, that works so nice. Angle's nice and smooth. Angle's very nice. Let's put this thing into... Let's go and put this thing into acro. Acro's nice. I'm going to put this thing back in angle mode. What? There's angle mode. So right now, I'm just letting the thing fly. I have it in angle mode. I've got the power set to about, um, to, let's get it down to like, let's get it down to like, oh, I don't know, like 40 something, 45%. This is where I plan on flying it, I guess. It's at 45%. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it fly in angle mode. My options have been to continuously adjust servos, to trim servos. So I'm just letting it fly in angle, and right now it's just, it's trying to figure out where all the control surfaces need to be to fly smooth and level. And I'm gonna get a little bit of altitude here. There we go. And I think it's probably done its job. Um, a good way to test this, to make sure your, everything's trimmed nice and easy, is what I'll do, is I will actually go into manual. And I'm just going to try to keep it where it's at. 
And look at that. I'm in manual and it's just kind of holding itself nice and level. Okay, so all the modes work. Let's check horizon. Horizon mode's on. So we're gonna turn and then we'll turn it past its point. Oh yeah, it's settling nice. Settling nice. We'll put it back at angle. Angle seems good. Angle seems smooth. Very nice. Okay, let's try it. We know Nav Loiter works because we used it. Navigation cruise. Here's Navigation Cruise. There's that wind. Woo! And I might hold off on the auto tune just because it is a it is a little windy right now. Oh yeah. She is she's windy. As soon as you get above that tree line, you can feel it. See if I get below the tree line, we'll get down here towards the field. Oh yeah. Smooth baby. Let's go, let's go mess around over here by us and we'll go fly through some stuff. And in my opinion, when it's kind of like crap conditions like this, this is a good time to test everything. Because with the wind blowing, it's going to give you an idea just how she responds. And I'm at about 50% right now. And I can definitely feel that wind. I can definitely feel it. It's definitely pushing me around, that's for sure. Yeah, man. I think we're good to go. Uh, let's check our return to home and see how that's working. All right, it's climbing to the altitude. It's climbing just about straight up too, which is nice. I want to climb high and in route to home. I'm pulling my, I got my throttle stick pulled back just so that it's making sure it's doing all the adjustments it needs for the uh, throttle. And it's coming back. Dudes, I think we got ourselves a successful maiden launch upgrade, whatever you want to call it. Let's see if it comes back and loiters. Now it, get, it came back and it's, it dropped down now to, so I have my return to home set to 350 feet. Once it gets home, it drops down to 250. And that's mainly so that if I lost my camera or something, I could still try to land this thing line of sight it probably wouldn't be very pretty but it would work i think okay back to manual see as i throttle this thing up there we go nice okay well i think with the wind coming we're going to give this thing a land uh what i'm going to do is i am going to i'm going to land in horizon so i've been I've been landing in uh, in Horizon, and the reason I've been doing that is because it just allows me to, in case I get in trouble, I got a little bit more control over the plane versus uh, angle mode. And I'm going to try and just, I'm going to try to land this thing right by us. Boom. There we go. Still grab it. <laughs> well, uh, guess what I forgot to latch. Gosh. Where would it have gone? Where would it have gone? He took off that way. It's probably in that field somewhere. Well, it was meant to be. It was meant to be. Let's get everything powered down here. 
All right, so we got it back. Um, it works awesome. Now, uh, my hatch is gone. That's probably why it seemed a little, a little oscillating up there for sure. Um, so yeah, fantastic. Um, auto launch fine. It honestly behaves just like the previous iNav versions, but I love that you get the beeps. You get the beep that it's got GPS. You get the beeps when it changes mode. You know, it's just kind of nice, so you don't got to keep putting your goggles on, checking stuff back and forth. Uh, you know, other than that, I tell every, I'd say upgrade, get the latest, get the greatest. Um, I haven't started messing with the additional features in iNav under the PID tunings, um, but I'm gonna start playing with them. This was just to make sure everything worked. So, and as you see in my video, do do screen grabs of your iNav settings. You know. I could totally lose this plane out in somewhere and never get it back. And then all my PID settings, all my, the way I have this thing tweaked just right, you know, this is probably going to work for any other dolphin that I get going forward. So it's always best to just take screen grabs of all your iNav settings or do a video record like what I do, save it on your computer and you got it. So I think that completes it and we'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Bye. Thank you.